Welcome aboard the uh, St. Bart 75. It might be a shipyard that you haven't heard of yet, but you probably will do in the future. The yacht was designed and built by an owner who couldn't find what he was looking for. So he designed this all himself, some incredible features which you won't find on other yachts. Frank, you're the owner of the shipyard, you're the owner of the boat. Um, Really, why did you why did you create the, this incredible 75 St. Bart 75? Yeah, I, I want a bigger boat for myself. And yeah, that was uh, the, the point we started. And I looked at the market and I didn't found it on the market what, uh, what I want. And so I said, yeah, I can do it better. And uh, I make uh, my own decisions of uh, what size, which, which uh, rooms are all in there. And also the viewing around, when you sit everywhere on the boat, you see everything, you have the contact with the water, and you see everything around. And that's, that's find I very important. No, it's brilliant. No, I absolutely love that. I mean, we, we're at the Canyon Yacht Show, we love showing this yacht, and everybody really appreciates it. One, because it's so original. This is the only St. Mark that's actually around, isn't that's it? That's right. The space is incredible. I mean, just the, the fact that no ceiling is less than 2.1 meters. Um, and downstairs in the main salon, it's 2.45 meters. It's, uh, did, you, did you think about that? I mean, is this just for Dutch people or basketball players, or is, <laughs> is it? Yeah, I, I like, uh, if uh, the ceilings are a good high, then you feel comfortable. And in every space, every room you are, you want to feel comfortable. And that's also uh, thinking of the boat. When, I, when you come at the boat, you feel at uh, home. And yeah, that's also in, uh, in homes, also the ceilings are very high. And mostly on the most yachts are the ceilings very low. And I didn't want that. I find it uh, for me uh, very important. And yeah, it's also a little bit Dutch. So they want uh, higher uh, ceilings. Yeah, no, that's perfect. It's great that we can just see all the way through the yacht. Um, literally just from here sitting on the back and also that the people on the quay can't see us. Yeah, I uh, made a very sp a split level floors in it and that's uh, why you, all, uh, you see everything around and you feel comfortable. And you see uh, what you said, you see the jacuzzi from here, but at the front, if you are in the jacuzzi and you are on the quay in the, the marina, the people don't see you because it's very private. Yeah, it's true. And, it's yeah, and that's very uh, lovely to, to are there. I love the front, it's a really exclusive area. And then, you know, you've, you've got the back, um, the, the aft deck, which is absolutely enormous. I mean, that's, it. that's great for playing, for putting your toys on, for having a barbecue. And then for the 85, of course, I mean, this is just exactly the same concept, pretty much, but just with so much more space, 88 meters squared more than the 75. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's 50 centimeters wider, two meters longer, and you have an extra fly deck uh, above it. And the fly deck alone is all, all, is all uh, 50 square meters. And it's very volum voluminous in uh, the top. This is an absolutely great space, Frank. I mean, I love the fact that we can put these tables together. They go up, they go down, you can dine here, you can have drinks here. Television behind us with this incredible sort of uh, the, the, the feature. Drinks. Uh, Wine bar, yes. television, sit and watch the sports. You can put the music on on the speakers. You can drive from here, have your friends around just sitting in the back. And then you've got all this wonderful space just inside where people can sit around and see, you know, everything the, the world go by as you sail. Everybody says bravo, but literally it's the culmination of a dream. Yeah, I'm very proud of the product because it's a very high quality on everything. It's total made from aluminium. When you sail with it, it's, yeah, it sails beautiful. <laughs> yeah, no, generally, you've, you've thought of so many cool features, which I think yeah. a lot of yachts, I mean, people at the show, they're looking at it and saying, wow, why, didn't we, why don't we have that? You know, why didn't we think of that? And some of them are just really small touches. I've noticed that people, yeah. people, people just so, oh, wow, that's incredible. Twin Volvo 1050 IPS engines. Um, cruising speed about 15 knots, maxing out at 25. But you showed me, I mean, it was uh, 108 liters an hour. In yes, consumption, that's right. A cruising speed at about yeah. 15 knots, which 
I've, I've said that to people and they're like, wow, you know, that's, that's incredible. Yeah. 108 liters. Yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely brilliant. So, you know, she's not only stylish, speedy enough, and she's, she's economic in, uh, in terms of consumption. That's right. And also, we have in the, the, also the heating from the engines, heating from the aircoach, heating from the generator, everything we put the heating out and we put it in a big boiler. And so that's the heating for the, the jacuzzi, also the heating for the warm water, for the showers. We have uh, also in the, the, the deck uh, at the back, uh, there is a very big hatch. And when the hatch opens, the tender is under it in the, in the, the engine room. Yeah. And you don't see it from outside. And also a crane is coming up and you can put the, the tender with the crane into the water. It's a brilliant system. It's yeah. so, so easy to launch. No, it's, it's an absolute pleasure to represent uh, St. Bart for the sale of the 85 Flybridge. It's going to be an incredible yacht and Frank, being the visionary that he is, um, is really helping us to, to bring this to the attention of people. But I mean, it's such a privilege working with you because you really do know what you want and you build something so well and we love the, the, the extremely high standard that you represent with St. Bart Yachting. Thank you.